excellent question. And we're very much involved, um, AMTA and CBMT, um, working with educating the union in California and working with those therapists. So there's actually, um, and Regina, you probably know about this because there's part of the um, the webinar that was done for the state therapists and we have a follow-up that's going to be done at the end of January. So that's ongoing. So I totally understand where you're coming from. Um, and you're not alone in the sense of people maybe not understanding why state recognition is important, even within the profession. Um, it is an important step and an important part of our process is to educate our peers, especially those peers who are not as engaged as all of you are, who are not, you know, watching a webinar on advocacy, who maybe are not participating in state recognition efforts, who are not members of AMTA or really are not even board certified and not even on the National Music Therapy Registry. There are those individuals. Um, and so part of it is if we can educate them on how the healthcare industry has changed in the last 15 years. When I first started at AMTA, there was more focus on federal oversight of health professions. So that if we had a national certification, that was enough and that we were meeting the requirements to work in certain settings. But as we worked through from like 2000 to 2010, it became more and more apparent that states were taking more power into the process of determining who's qualified to work in healthcare and education. And so that's really what kind of also was a part of the state recognition plan was that we saw this change and we knew that just the national certification alone was not enough for us to be guaranteed the opportunity to work in certain settings. And so we realized we had to go state by state to make sure that the states recognized our profession and the credential that's required to practice. So in the process, we have found that many states, when they put together pieces of legislation recognizing a profession, if you work for the state facility and you're already in place, Oftentimes, states will allow therapists to continue working without getting an additional credential. Okay? And so those folks that are close to retirement would be protected. And that's understandable because they've been in the system for so long and it's going to take a while to get these changes in place, particularly in California. Um, but for those folks who might be younger in their career and are going to be working for a while, um, the conversation, especially with um, the folks in, in working with the unions in California, is that we want to provide opportunities for them to become board certified so that they can demonstrate they have the skill set to work as music therapists. Um, and that the benefits of board certification, I'll defer to CBMT, but obviously, I mean, I can speak to them as well, but the concept that to the outside world, we need an exam-based credential in order to be considered on the same level with comparable professions. Mm -hmm. So it's not appropriate for us to be considered healthcare professionals if we don't meet the same standards that they have across all industry. So when you think about, you know, PTs have an exam and OTs have an exam and, you know, really respiratory therapy and um, the psychologists and the counselors, everyone has a national exam. And more and more states actually are relying on national exams. It used to be in the past, they had each state had their own test. Mm -hmm. And so what we've really been trying to um, stress to those folks who have not gotten their board certification is that in order to work as the industry has changed, as states take more power in who's qualified, that it becomes necessary for each healthcare profession to have an exam-based credential that also involves continuing education. So especially if, you know, even if it takes us a while to get it changed in California, um, my concern for those individual therapists, and I would share this with them if I was talking to them, is that if they were ever to move, that they would not be able to work as music therapists, that they cannot guarantee employment without the credential. 
And so as it's not just us, it's not just an AMTA CBMT effort to get people board certified and get the state to recognize it. It really is an industry um, requirement and um, you're getting more and more facilities wanting that level of competence and being able to measure it either by the exam as well as the continuing ed. So, mm -hmm. so important. Plus, I would think just from your personal growth, you would want to be able to demonstrate that you're continuing to learn, that you're you know, showing that you're keeping up with the changes in the profession, and the only way to do that is to remain board certified.